Hey team, this is Luke with Crusader Machining. This is a new YouTube channel for us. The main focus on this channel, as the name implies, is going to be machining. I am a CNC machinist for about two decades now. The channel will cover CNC machining, cool videos, tips, tricks, some instructionals, and also I want to get into conventional machining. I'm not a conventional machinist by trade, but I have, and anyone who works in a shop knows if there's a manual lathe or a mill, you learn how to use it. Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about a canned cycle called G71. What is G71 and why would you use it? G71 is a canned roughing cycle designed for rough turning on a CNC lathe. The reason that a lot of people like myself, programmers and machinists use it is because it simplifies the programming during the programming process, it helps the operators and the setup people as they're running it. And it makes the setup person and as you're running it, overall the system, the process of that job and that running is a lot easier, smoother and cleaner. What do I mean by it makes it simpler? For example, if you are setting your depth of cut for a certain material, let's say 17.4 stainless, we run a lot of that. Say I program my job, 17-4 stainless, I'm 100,000 step to cut. My operator's running it, he's having bad tool life, he needs to modify that. Instead of going to find a programmer or him banging his head against the wall, trying to figure out how to change it, there's one line, one section of one line of the G71 that you can go in there and just change it from 100,000 depth to cut to 50, 75, 85, whatever you want it to be. <clears throat> or conversely, say you're running a 17-4 job, you set it up with a 75 per side depth of cut, you realize that your insert isn't wearing at all, you have a lot of material to remove, you can speed up the job a little bit. Instead of going back and reprogramming 500 lines of code in that G71 block, you can, ch you can increase that depth of cut. You increase it a little bit, say from 75 to 95, Maybe you can speed up that job a little bit. Give that insert a little bit less time to interrupt and enter and leave the cut. Let it stay in the material more often. Those are just two reasons that we like to use G71. We can increase our increase or decrease our depth of cut very easily right at the control. And another reason is that we can your you can change the material allowance for the finisher same way you don't have to reprogram anything or offset the roughing tool you can just set a value in the g71 to modify what we call our material allowance how much are you going to leave <clears throat> excuse me for your finishing tool so when you're looking at a g71 and we're going to go through this more in a video you have what we're going over is the g71 two line format you have a g71 top line g71 bottom line you fill in the information, then underneath that you have your N, your first line number N, say N100. That's the beginning of your finished profile. Then you go down, put down the rest of the coordinates of your profile, then the last is the last N number, say N200. So you have N100, your program, finished profile, N200. The G71 is going to read that over and over based upon your starting point, your ending point, and whatever that profile is, it's going to cut that in a rough pattern until it gets down to your finish allowance. Well, how much are you going to leave for your finisher? So that's what we're going to be going over today. Be a quick, fun video. I'm Team G71. I used to hate it because I really didn't know how to program it. Over the past several years, I've advanced out of the Stone Age and realized I don't have to program everything with a piece of paper and a pencil, and every time I have to make a change is a big thing. So I'm Team G71. We're going to go over that in a bit. Here is an example of a G71 in process on my machine right now.
So here we have a diagram of a G71, and this is complements of the creator G Code Tutor. As you can see in the left hand of the drawing, G Code Tutor. Shout out to him. I've been following him for a long time, and he's got some great info, absolutely wonderful explanations of machining. Anyways, back to the topic. Here you can see a visual representation of the G71 along with the code broken down. First things first, on the left you're going to see the chuck with the material or your part in the chuck and above it you're going to see your turning tool. Very common on a lathe, obviously this is a lathe rough turning cycle. The lines underneath the turning tool are the tool path and if you can see they follow the finished profile. This is a roughing operation. So now let's go over what the G71 G71 is. This is a two line G71. The first line, G71 U1.0 in the example, that is your depth of cut. This is in millimeters, I, I assume. You would never take a one inch depth of cut. Well, not really. But the first U on that first line is your depth of cut. The R, is what we call your retract value. How far does the tool, tool retract from the material before it goes back to the starting position? Now the second line, you have P100, that's your N100 line. Q200 is your N200 line. That means that your G71 cycle is gonna do everything that's encapsulated within N100 and N200. That would be the finished profile of your part per print is between the N100, N200, or P100, Q200 from your starting point to your ending point and all geometry between. You would plot each point, set it out, or do it in CAM and call for G71. Now in that second line again, you have your U.2. That U.2 on the second line is your material allowance in X. Because if we go back to our CNC programming school, U is incremental X. So that U is your material allowance for X. How much material are you going to leave per side for your finisher? Right next to that we have the W. The W is your material allowance in Z. How much material are you going to leave in the z-axis? And then at the end is your feed rate. So whatever that feed rate is. If you have a 432, maybe it's a feed of 10. But again, this is in metric, so it wouldn't be standard feed of 200 thousandths per revolution. So once again, to be clear, what we just looked at was a diagram of a G71 with a cool picture to the left so you can visualize it and then a breakdown of the actual two-code G71 roughing cycle on the right. And once again, this is compliments of G-Code Tutor. Go check them out on Instagram or YouTube. Wonderful stuff. As we come to the conclusion of the video, here's a couple more G71s in action. And that is the conclusion of the video today. Once again, to recap, we went over G71, the two-line version. We're able to change our depth of cut, per side, of course, our feed rate, surface footage, your material allowance in both X and Z easily right at the control. So you can set up the job, or I'm sorry, you can program the job on your CAM software, dump it into the machine, let your setup or operator get the machine running, and if they have a problem with tool life or want to optimize it or change it some way, and you don't have to stop what you're doing and go reprogram it. Train your setup people, train your operators, if they're trustworthy, train them on what to change. So once again, as we said in the beginning, 
If you want to decrease your depth of cut to get better tool life and keep that light green, keep that machine making money, decrease that depth of cut. Or if you're noticing your tool life is absolutely excellent and you don't, and you want to optimize the job, speed it up, get it out faster, increase that depth of cut. And all those things can be done easily. So there's some jobs that we've ran without a G71, it's 400 lines of roughing. Some of them we've done is eight inch stock, turning a flange down to one inch. You know, 50 thousandths or 100 thousandths depth of cut, starting with your surface footage way up here, it's slow. You can easily speed it up or slow it down by just changing that one line of code, not having to go through and modify 500 or 100 or 200 lines of code. In conclusion, G71, I'm team G71. I love it. I hope you guys liked the video. Thank you for watching.